Let's start this morning with Christ object lessons. She says, we are rushing to and fro, chasing gain and selfish indulgences as if there was no God, no heaven, and no hereafter. In Noah's day, the warning of the flood was sent to startle men in their wickedness and call them to repentance. And today as well, the message of his soon coming is designed to arouse us from our absorption in worldly things. And it is intended to awaken us to a sense of eternal realities that we may heed the invitation to the Lord's table. We're going to start with Jesus is coming soon. Troublesome times are here, filling our hearts with fear. Freedom we all hold dear, now is at stake. Humble your hearts to God, saves from the chasing rod. Seek the way, pilgrim strong, Christians awake. Jesus is And in Acts of the Apostles, Sister White says, If the followers of Christ are earnest seekers of wisdom, they will be led into rich fields of truth. Those who give themselves fully to God will be guided by his divine hand. We're going to try put your hand in the hand. Put your hand in the hand of the man who sealed the waters. Put your hand in the hand of the man who called the sea. Take a look at yourself and you can look at others differently by putting your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Every time I look into the holy book, I want to tremble. When I read about the part where a carpenter cleared the temple. For the buyers and the sellers were no different fellas than what we profess to be. And it causes me shame to know we're not the people that we should be. Put your hand in the hand of the man the waters. Put your hand in the hand of the man who called the sea. Take a look at yourself and you can look at others differently by putting your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Jesus taught 
me what to say, my little friend, what it's like in heaven. And when I'm down on my knees, he comes close to me when I beckon. He gave his life and sacrifice for mine, but he did what he needed to do to show me exactly what it takes for me to get to heaven too. Put your new something different <laughs> something, old. something old but something different we haven't sung that Christ object lesson she finishes up with the power of speech Ooh, that is loaded <laughs> the power of speech is a talent that should be cultivated of all the gifts that we have received from God none is capable of being a greater blessing than this Because with the voice we can convince and persuade, and with it we offer prayer and praise to God, and also with it we tell others of the Redeemer's love. Pass it on. It only takes a spark to get a fire going As soon all those around Can warm up to its glowing That's how it is with God's love Once you've experienced it You spread His love to everyone You want to pass it on Wondrous time is spring when all the trees are budding. The birds begin to sing, the flowers start their blooming. That's how it is with God's love. Once you've experienced it, you want to sing, it's fresh like spring. Want to pass it on I wish for you, my friend This happiness that I found You can depend on Him It matters not when you're bound I'll shout it from the mountaintop I want my way to know the Lord of love has come to me. I want to pass it on. I'll shout it from the mountaintop. I want my world to know the Lord of love has come to me. I want to pass it on. Those of you who can, please kneel for our song of preparation, I See the Lord. I see the Lord seated on the Exalted as the train of his robe fills the temple with glory, and the whole earth is filled, and the whole earth is filled, and the whole.
Our Father, we rejoice because you are an amazing God. We celebrate the fact that you have already won the war against evil. This morning, we just celebrate beforehand the fact that we are in the winning team. This morning, we ask that you may bless us, Lord, as we bring our burdens at the foot of the cross. We ask, O Lord, that you be with our minds, be with our hearts. I pray that you may remove the stresses that have been plaguing us all week. That you help us, O Lord, to put our cares and cast our cares upon you so that we can leave this place totally renewed and totally relieved. Father, we invite you to be the object of our worship. We invite your angels to join us as we worship you. We pray, O Lord, that this worship service may be pleasing to your sight and that it may vindicate your name amongst the nations. Thank you, Lord, for listening to our prayer. For we ask all this in Jesus' name. Let everyone say, Amen. 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 Please open your hymnals to number 511. I know whom I have believed. I know not why God's wondrous grace to me he hath made known, nor why unworthy Christ in love redeemed me for his own. But I know who I'm persuaded that he is able to keep that which I committed unto him against that day. I know not how this saving faith to me he did impart.
your SOS I will send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkest night it's true I will rescue you there is no distance Cannot be covered over and over You're not defenseless I'll be your shelter, I'll be your armor I hear you whisper underneath your Again for me, <coughs> the 
the great physician heals the sick, the lost he came to save. For me his precious blood he shed, for me his life he gave. I need no other evidence, I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and rose again for me. Let's pray together. Father, it is enough. We need no other evidence. We know that you rose from the dead, and that changes everything. Thank you, Lord, that you have called us out of darkness into your marvelous light. Help us, Lord, to demonstrate impartiality the way that you do. Help help us, O Lord, to not allow favoritism to be in our experience with our brothers and sisters in the fellowship of God. Help us, O Lord, to have the humility to understand that we are not God and that the universe does not revolve around us. Help us understand, Lord, that uh, everyone is precious and everybody has an experience. Help us to be respectful and help us to understand that just because somebody doesn't see things exactly like I do, does that give me the license to push them away and to show favoritism to another people group in the same household who happen to agree with me on everything. Help us, O oh Lord, to understand that that's not the way it should be. Bless us, Lord, as we continue to strive to be the hands and feet of Jesus in Panama City. Father, we need a revival of spiritual reformation. We need a revival, Lord, from on high of primitive godliness. We need Pentecost in our church. It can happen. We just need to ask for it, and we need to believe that you are capable of giving us that. So help us, Lord. Give us the faith to know that you are indeed the God who not only promises things, but the God who delivers them. Thank you, Lord, for listening to our prayer. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Let the church say together. Amen. Amen.